Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard products number 1013 SS. What we have here is a basically a piece of eighth of an inch um, stainless steel plate that has been uh, bent into what we would call a saddle type threshold. Um, this material is solid stainless. This is shown, will be shown in the mill finish. Other finishes are available, but if you don't specify, it's going to be mill stainless. There won't be any brushing or any polishing or any sort of additional process done to it, like bead blasting or a surface applied, um, a, a treatment, a bead blasting or what National Guard would call SIA, which stands for Slick It Ain't, um, making it substantially slip resistant. Um, so be mindful. Unless you see a finish in the part number, this is going to be a um, this is going to be a mill finish piece of equipment. Uh, shockingly heavy. This material, this threshold, weighs 0.34 pound, a third of a pound for one inch in length. It's 10 inch wide, but for every 10 inch in 10 inch in width and uh, in width, one inch in weight in length is a third of a pound. So it's, it is a heavy piece of equipment. Now the question ultimately becomes where would you use a big, thick, solid piece of stainless steel uh, regardless of the finish? Um, you know, what application would you use it in? Well, obviously for the properties of its base material, it's non-ferrous. This would be something appropriate that you would see in an absolutely uh, exterior exposure um, that is going to be uh, subject to extreme elements. Uh, you know, you're not going to see, uh, you know, typical cold rolled steel installed in a public project, um, you know, that's on the coast. You know, it's just that stuff's not going to last at all uh, or any sort of marine environment. You're going to have material that is going to be of a non-ferrous base material. This threshold uh, was is not selected whatsoever for its properties of its base material, but for its look alone. Um, this project uh, in Houston has five custom openings and they are uh, using uh, a very particular hardware with a very particular look and this threshold is selected only for its, well it's dimensional property, it had to be very deep, this is a 10 inch wide again threshold, but because of the finish matched everything else um, and also because of the exceptional durability of the product. The doors that will be in this opening will be held open at all times, um, literally 24 hours a day, and will only be closed um, I'm, not, I'm really not sure when these doors will be closed because it is a point of transfer between two areas. Um, and the question ultimately became, well, why put doors there in the first place? But the amount of foot traffic, this will be in a museum actually, the amount of foot traffic that will go over this material is going to be exceptional. So they need to have something extremely robust, uh, extremely durable, um, and aluminum just will not give you that same level of durability that something made of stainless or something that is made of bronze is certainly going to give you. So again, three reasons. Um, its base material properties, its look, and its durability. Well, the base material properties, meaning it won't rust, and its durability, uh, are kind of the same sort of concept. So this is a 39 inch length, a custom door width as well on this. Okay, this has a peel away protective uh, uh, paper, not paper, but a film or a plastic that is protecting that mill finish. That is definitely what mill stainless looks like. A very clean sort of surface, although it's mill, um, it is not going to be without any sort of, you know, surface visual mark on it. it it's simply a mill finish, um, and the term mill means what it looks like when it leaves the mill. When it's, you know, when this material is, I'm not really uh, an expert in terms of the material process manufacturing of stainless, but when this plate is created, um, there's no surface, there's no work or treatment done 
10 inch overall wide. This is going to be a quarter inch tall. Okay, quarter inch overall height. The material thickness, it's definitely not insignificant, that's for sure. And we're going to get to the product brochure that is listed down below this video as well. Point one two, point one two thick. That's really where your material thickness is coming, uh, your weight is coming from, because it's basically an eighth of an inch thick. Um, lots of different lengths. This item happened to be drilled and countersunk, um, which is interesting. Yeah, and that would be, of course, standard. Be mindful when you're ordering such a piece of equipment like this, whether it be extremely expensive or not at all. Um, feel free to indicate to us in the comment field how you want the holes to be done. You know, having a dimple, a single dimple, there are four of them in this threshold. Um, in my opinion, given the cost and how unusual a, an expensive threshold like this is, I would, I would require, if I was National Guard, I would suggest that they require the client to define what preparation they want. Who's to say that that dimple is, is where the client wants? Um, you know, it just so happens that, you know, it's clarified on this project that those standard fastener holes are okay, but absolutely define that. I would expect there, you know, normally there would be soldier stacked screws in this. But when you're dealing with thresholds, stainless and most certainly bronze, every single order, every single time, okay, let's talk about what we're doing in terms of fasteners uh, and preparations for that. Sometimes the client says, you know what, don't drill anything. Um, I'm going to do all that in the field. So what I instruct the manufacturer to do is to send it undrilled, but to include the standard fasteners as the client will prepare those holes in the field. Okay. Now this is listed in the site in lots of different lengths. Um, I don't know the standard sheet length of this. I would imagine it's either 8 or 10 foot, what they're getting this out of. They are, it doesn't appear as if they're putting this in a press break. I think they're laser or water cutting this. The edge, well, they're, they're cutting it, there's no doubt. Uh, I don't know what they're using to cut this with. Or maybe they're not. That might be sheared as well. I, I don't know how they're doing it, but they're obviously doing it somehow. Um, the point is, is not only is it 10 inch deep, but it's made of stainless. Unless you have the right tooling for cutting this, you will not want to order a stock, or none of it's stock, but a stock sized type length. Uh, you're not going to want to just, you know, order a 48 inch and say, yeah, I know the doors are about three foot eight, so I'll cut it down. I would not, I would not suggest that with this. In addition, if you're do, going to do any coping in the field, you know, coping around the profile of the frame, let's get the factory a sketch and let them do it. They charge for that, but could you imagine trying to cope, you know, this around a eight and three quarter jam? Uh, it would be, it would be dreadful. If you didn't have the right tool, it'd be utterly, it'd be next to impossible to do so. So be mindful. Um, let the factory do the modifications, all of the customization to such a product. It's not, you know, 100,000 thick aluminum. It's it's dreadfully thick stainless steel. Um, now the lengths, again, you know, uh, let's just say that they, they may have 10 foot plate or whatever the length of the, the plate is that they are working with. You're going to want them to, um, you're going to want to tell the client, uh, the factory, here's how long I want it. Here's what I want to do in terms of the fasteners. Here's any sort of preparations that I need to do and define all of that. This client, you know, uh, you know, needed a custom length 39 inch. We have another one over here, it's 46 inch. Um, so we need to tell the factory exactly what we expect there. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the supporting documentation for this item. Now here is the series of items that we're looking at. 1033, pardon me, 1013 SS, 10 inch wide, Quarter inch overall height, uh, wall thickness 0.12. That's exactly what our caliper told us. In fact, this would be called a saddle threshold. If you use your imagination, you can see why they call it a saddle style threshold. Made of solid stainless, 10 inch wide, quarter inch tall, 
mill finish, type 304. Includes 10 by inch and a half flat head stainless steel wood screws, and I'll show you those screws at the end of this video. This is listed for ratings up to three hour for UL 10B and 10C, positive pressure, neutral pressure testing. Installation instructions are here, and when it comes to thresholds, there's not much. Measure, cut to length, cope if necessary, attach it, you know, that kind of thing. Caulk around the base of the threshold for moisture control. When it comes to um, installation, and back to the other items that we're talking about, this manufacturer can provide this material with different anchor types. If it is a masonry anchor, you know, they're gonna, they are going to send the standard 10 by inch and a half flathead stainless uh, wood screws. They're flathead number two Phillips. They're not threaded all the way to the head, which is why they're called wood screws. But, you know, I would think if you really want to get your hands on a good way to install this, I would be looking for... I'd be looking for something like machine screws and lead anchors, you know, stainless machine screws, lead anchors. Um, I wouldn't want this expensive threshold to show up and, and you know, it'd be a head-scratching moment. I'd say, okay, how am I going to install this now? I mean, you don't want any of that. Um, so, again, you know, when you're dealing with typical thresholds that are $20, 30 $40, you know, maybe maybe there's not as much concern. When you're dealing with something as, that is over $100 a foot, Let's get it all clarified. Let's get it all specified correctly so that you get precisely the, the solution that your application um, calls for. So on this um, installation instruction, you know, there you go. Uh, let's go back to the document that I just bounced on. The product brochure can be seen here. Okay. Uh, the 1013 is listed down here as the 10 inch wide unit. What's nice is they tell us the uh, the weight per foot of that material. Um, they say 4.25 pound per foot, uh, four, uh, four point, yeah, 14.25, 14.25 yeah, sorry, 4.25 <laughs> 4, 4. Um, yeah, I mean, the one that I actually put on my scale comes out to be 0.34 inch. So, yeah, every bit of a third of a pound per foot, if uh, more than, obviously. Um, other sizes in this type of threshold are listed here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 13 SS. You get the concept of why those part numbers run the way they do. Here's your 6 inch and your 5 inch and your 4 inch version of that same thing. Optional finishes. US 32, which would be more appropriately called 629, is a polished finish. Brushed is US 32D or 630 with a brushed suffix. They can put an anti-slip coating on the outside of this, and it would be called SIA for slick it ain't. Um, so very helpful, uh, this document is in indeed. Now, there is a link here below this video to the manufacturer's page, and that will allow us to review not only not only all of the National Guard products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog, whatever the current book is, is here. There's also a link to the A117.1 document, where this is the basically the handicap code um, that governs the accessibility of those that have handicap in public, uh, public places. That certainly applies to thresholds, um, front and center, along with obviously commercial restroom equipment that we sell all the time as well. Uh, they have a, a National Guard has a relatively new line of sliding door hardware, as seen here. That's relatively new for them. I don't have much experience with this material, but I have three decades of experience of sliding door hardware. Uh, so if you uh, are looking for some sliding door hardware and you like the name National Guard, I would take a look. Um, absolutely. Flood shields are relatively new, relatively, uh, a, few, a few years now. Flood shields, and they're common, uh, relatively common. We don't sell them all the time, but the frequency of selling flood shields has certainly increased over the last five or ten years. 
with uh, drastic changes in weather patterns that are uh, occurring, being able to keep a bit of a torrent out of your... Uh, keep, keeping the encroachment of water into your space from a torrent to a drip uh, is the purpose of a flood shield, and that's pretty nice. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, wherever you're going to use a really epic piece of threshold like this, you know, those are the common applications, you know, that I would... Uh, you know, end up figuring that you're going to bump into when it comes to this material. Those are the screws that I had mentioned earlier, the 10 by inch and a half. These are actually uh, cheap flathead sheet metal screws is what I would call these uh, because they are threaded to the head. Okay. The big heavy threshold, there's no doubt. Um, National Guard can also do a full offering of customization. Um, if you needed, in, 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 in stainless base material, they don't have really any other piece parts, uh, but in aluminum base material and, and sometimes bronze, you know, you might need a custom profile to something. You might need the threshold to do this and then do this and then come down and do this uh, every once in a while. They can take components and customize them, uh, TIG weld the material together, cut to length, assemble, things of that nature. So if you have need for something custom, send a sketch. Uh, I'm sure National Guard would be very eager to quote that material. Good quality company with good quality people, very friendly. You call them up, they uh, are happy to talk to you, and they behave as if they're a partner in the entire process, and we appreciate that from them. It's a pleasure to be a distributor for National Guard products. Any questions on the 1013 uh, stainless steel threshold or any other? Uh, National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.